Hello, I am Pooja Chaturvedi and you're listening to The Lounge Podcast, a weekly show that brings you news from the world of music, movies, art, culture and food. Summers have hit India with their threat of heat and dust and somnolence. But for all the misery, there is the divine fruit to soothe our taste buds and send us into raptures. We all love mangoes, sweet, juicy and luscious. For most of us, a cold mango is the best antidote to a hot summer day. Which is why on today's show, we bring you some mango recipes that are easy to make, fun to have and absolutely yummy. First up, we have Rashmi Kandhari from Delhi-based patisserie Sinfully Yours, who tells us why she loves mangoes for her bakes and pies. Rashmi also shares her favorite mango recipe with us. So without further ado, let's hear it from Rashmi. Hi Rashmi, welcome to the Lounge Podcast. Hi Pooja, thank you so much for having me here. <laughs> okay, so it's all about mangoes. So now tell us, what makes mangoes a special ingredient for your bakes and pies and which mango lends itself best to your dishes? You know, when summer approaches, the first thing it strikes you, wow, mangoes are back. And you, to incorporate mangoes in your uh, summer cooking makes it really cool and nice. You can think of all the nice, yummy, long, cold drinks with mangoes like a mango lassi or a mango smoothie or a nice panna, the Indianized version. And in our baking and all, the best is using an Alfanzo pulp or using the safeda for garnish because it cuts so beautifully. I wouldn't recommend using too many fibrous mangoes because, you know, or you'll have to strain the fiber out. Yes, and how does mango alter your food menu? Well, with summer coming and mangoes in season, you want to add mangoes because the season is it's just for a few months. So you would like to add on drinks with mangoes, even salads. Do a Thai salad or do a nice pickle with mango. You know, something to add more crunch and spice. And yet it's light. And then you can add on things like a, a South Indian salad with mango, with curry patta and rai, you know. And in our cakes and our baking, there's loads. You can do a chilled mango cheesecake. You can do a nice trifle pudding with mangoes and cream. And you can do a nice panna cotta with a mango puree on it. Can you share your favorite mango recipe with us? I'll share my uh, mango cheesecake recipe with you. Mm. The ideal thing to do in summer would be to use hung curd as the basic cream cheese rather than a Philadelphia cream cheese or a commercial cream cheese. So you take an equal quantity of hung curd, for example, like 200 grams of hung curd and 200 grams of cream. And you add sugar as per your taste. You'll have to add a little and just check it out. The best thing is to take a, you know, taste a bit and see how it's doing. And you add to it the alfanzo puree, the pulp of the alfanzo. And you beat it in nicely. Then to this, you can add about uh, two to three teaspoons of gelatin, which has been pre-softened in lukewarm water. And mix it well and chill it. In a, you take a dish in which you put biscuit at the bottom. You've taken digestive biscuits, mix them with butter, and you crush them and you put them at the base of the pie dish. And you chill that. Then on top of that, you pour this mixture of your cheesecake. So once that has set in the refrigerator, you get this beautiful creamy cheesecake on top and which you can garnish with the mango slices. Thank you, Rashmi. Thank you for talking to us. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Now, if that wasn't enticing enough, we have Avanti Mathur from Sweet Nothing who tells us how to make, of all things, mango salsa. Intrigued? Let's turn to Avanti. Hi, Avanti. Welcome to the Lounge Podcast. Hi, Pooja. How are you? Good, I'm good. Avanti, tell us what makes mangoes a special ingredient for your bakes and pies and which mango lends itself best to your dishes? Mangoes, I think, are just a great salad pleaser, especially in India and, of course, globally for their exotic uh, nature. And we use them widely in baked goods as well because the aroma, the flavor profile and the visual appeal that they lend to any goodies that we make. My personal favorites tend to change through the season as we try and use things which are the freshest and best at a particular time. But alfanzos and safedas are my personal favorite. And can you share your favorite mango recipe with us? So even despite that, the fact that I'm a pastry chef and I should probably be sharing something sweet, one of my favorite and quickest recipes is actually a mango salsa. 
So we basically take mangoes. You can dissect two mangoes. Take a pomegranate and have it prepped. Red bell pepper diced, red onions diced, and some cilantro, lemon juice to taste, some salt to taste. And we basically just season it, toss it together, and it's good to go. Okay, Avanti, thanks for talking to us. Thanks. It was great talking to you too. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye. And if those two recipes have whetted your appetite, we also spoke to Shirani Mehta from Delhi-based Mazonte Dessert, who tells us about her love for mangoes and one easy mango dish that you can make to beat the heat. Hi, Shirani. Welcome to the Lounge Podcast. Hi. Okay, Shirani. Tell us which mango lends itself best to your dishes. I think I would say the Alfonso. Hmm. because it's kind of becoming something of a national obsession in india because of its sweetness and its kind of the rich flavor and uh, so i would say alfonso definitely and how do you alter your food menu when mango season is there see for me the desserts that i do it's fruits play a very important role so obviously when mangoes and the season and it really adds obviously color to the, what i'm presenting and taste as well okay and can you share your favorite mango recipe with us There are these mango meringues, hmm. which is served with some whipped cream. So for this, you need six large egg whites, three seventy-five grams caster sugar, one teaspoon corn flour, a pinch of salt, a cup of whipped cream, a cup of chopped mangoes. So basically, you preheat the oven to one eighty degrees, whisk the egg whites with a little bit of salt until it's holding soft peaks. Gently add in the sugar, maybe a spoonful at a time. Keep beating it until it all comes together. So this just add a scant of uh, vanilla and sprinkle in the corn flour. Mix well, and you draw six small little circles on your parchment paper. Put the mixture into the baking sheet and just put it in the oven for about 25 minutes and bake it at maybe about 160. And uh, that's it. Once it cools, you bring it out. You put some whipped cream on it and throw in some chopped fresh mangoes on top and enjoy. Okay. Thanks, Shirani. Thanks for talking to us. Okay. Cheers. Bye. Okay. Bye. Just how delicious can it get? The possibilities with this tropical fruit are limitless. So, what's your favorite mango recipe? Tell us at feedback at livemint.com. I'm off now to gorge on this delicious fruit. Meet you next Friday. Have a yummy weekend.